नमस्ते एवरी वन वेलकम बैक टू माई चैनल वेर वी डाइव डीप इन टू द विजडम ऑफ पतंजलि योग सूत्राज टूडे वी आर कंटिन्यूइंग अवर जर्नी थ्रू द चितावृतीज द मॉडिफिकेशन और फ्लक्चुएशन ऑफ द माइंड इन द लास्ट फ्यू वीडियोज वी हैव डिस्कस्ड वेरियस फॉर्म्स ऑफ कॉग्निशन एंड नाउ वी आर अराइविंग एट चैप्टर वन सूत्रा टेन विच टॉक्स अबाउट निद्रा और स्लीप दिस सूत्रा टीचेज अस दैट स्लीप दो इट सीम्स लाइक अनकॉन्शियसनेस इज इन फैक्ट अ पावरफुल मेंटल स्टेट दैट कैन ऑल्सो बी कंट्रोल्ड लेट्स ब्रेक इट डाउन एंड अंडरस्टैंड वॉट पतली मीन्स बाय दिस प्रीति ऑफ स्लीप द टेन सूत्रा इज अभाव प्रत्यालंबन विधि निद्रा दिस ट्रांसलेट्स टू स्लीप इज अ वेव ऑफ थॉट बेस्ड ऑन द एबसेंस ऑफ एनी कॉन्टेंट इन अदर वर्ड्स स्लीप इज नॉट द एबसेंस ऑफ एक्सपीरियंस बट एन एक्सपीरियंस ऑफ नथिंगनेस इवन इन स्लीप द माइंड इज एक्टिव बट द कॉन्टेंट ऑफ द माइंड इज द परसेप्शन ऑफ नथिंग लेट्स ब्रेक इट डाउन फर्दर अभाव प्रत्यय refers to the awareness of absence or nothingness when we sleep we are not aware of specific thoughts objects or sensory input however there is still a sense of emptiness that the mind perceives alamban means support or foundation this implies that sleep rests on the perception of nothing vritti as we know means modification or fluctuation of the mind Nidra is sleep. What Patanjali is telling us is that sleep is not just unconsciousness. It is a state where the mind takes nothingness as its content. Even though we feel like we are not thinking or experiencing anything, our mind is still functioning, still active in a different way. Sleep according to Patanjali is not a void or total shutdown of the mind. Only the conscious part of the mind the part that operates during wakefulness goes into a dormant state the deeper layers of the mind remains active even while we are asleep that's why when we wake up we can say things like i slept well or i didn't get in a rest there is a memory of sleep which shows that sleep is still an experience this also explains dreams when our mind is not completely at rest we sometimes experience vrittis in the form of dreams which are another type of mental modification why does this matter in yoga why does patanjali classify sleep as a vritti that we need to control for a yogi controlling even the sleep state is important the mind needs to be disciplined and trained in all its modes whether we are awake dreaming or sleeping in deeper state of meditation or samadhi a yogi is able to transcend even the state of sleep this means they remain conscious and aware even while the mind would typically rest controlling sleep helps bring about high state of awareness and reduces the fluctuations of the mind that keeps us bound to the ordinary state of consciousness in yoga practice it is important to understand that sleep is not just something that happens at the end of the day the quality of our sleep affects our mind's clarity our ability to focus and our capacity to meditate so how can we work on controlling the vritti of sleep first mindful rest instead of seeing sleep as unconsciousness we can practice cultivating awareness as we fall asleep notice how the mind winds down and slips into the state of nothingness second meditation before sleep one way to control the nidra vritti is to meditate before sleeping this helps slow down the mind's fluctuation and prepare it for a restful yet conscious state third balancing sleep proper sleep hygiene regular yoga practice and a calm mind lead to balanced sleep which is crucial for your overall mental and physical health sleep becomes a conscious practice aiding us on our yogic path fourth awareness in all state in yoga we strive for awareness in every state waking dreaming and sleeping each state of mind is a form of mental modification by becoming aware of each state we deepen our mastery over the mind to sum up sleep is not the absence of thought 
but a mental state where the mind focuses on emptiness. By recognizing that sleep is another type of vritti, we realize that every state of mind can be point of practice and transformation. Stay tuned because in the upcoming sutras we will explore the other vrittis that Patanjali describes smriti. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, share, subscribe and hit the notification bell for more insights into the yoga sutras. And if you have any questions, feel free to drop them in the comments below. Thank you for watching. Namaste.